As a data scientist, it is almost impossible that you haven't heard or seen Cuda at this once in your life. So what is this Cuda and why is it so important for data science? In this video, we will discuss parallel computing in a GPU point of view. We will introduce what a CPU is and explain a bit about what this mysterious world Cuda is. So let's get started. You probably all know what a CPU is. It is basically the brain of the computer. It is responsible for almost all the processing. For instance, when you open a new tab on your Chrome, move the cursor of your mouse or just type something, the CPU is the one handling and processing all those informations. You can see it as a giant calculator that makes all your wish come true. CPU has been around for a while and today they are becoming more and more impressive with more cores and more powers. I will come back to the core notions later. What about GPU? It is the graphical brain of your computer. It is responsible for processing all the pixels that you see in your screen. So he's the guy who said you have to see red right now or green. In every computer, we have at least one GPU. It can be in the CPU integrated or completely separated. With all this information, you may be wondering why is it so important? Why is it important for me or for data science? Let's come back to the notion of cores. If you have been following this series from Data to Big Data Analytics, and I will put the link to the complete playlist in the description, you may have seen that we talk a lot about parallelism and core are quite important for parallelism. Consider this is a CPU. Back in time, computer has one brain and that brain could do one thing at a time. It's like breathing or eating. You cannot do both, unfortunately. People start wondering if we divide this big brain into two separate brains, will it make it more powerful? Yeah, that works. It makes it better at multitasking. It means doing many tasks at the same time. And then they keep splitting it and splitting it and splitting it. Today we cannot count up to 128 cores in some recent computers which make them really efficient for common tax. So it's like having almost 128 brains in a single head. It's impressive, right? Imagine you have to compute 3.3 billion times in those processors. You will have to separate and do it hundreds of thousands of times because you have to separate the task between 128 brains. But those brains are powerful enough to do something that simple, but we just have 128 brains. It leads us to hundreds of thousands of times computing something extremely simple. We don't really need a big brain to compute three times three, right? Most of data science tasks need a small number of calculations at scale, so too many times. So even with 128 brains, the CPU is not as impressive as we want it to be. It drives us back to this GPU. It is made of a huge amount of weak core that can do a small task, like a thousand or small brains. Those core brains can go up to 5,120, so almost 40 times the number of CPU cores. And it makes a huge difference when it comes to the speed the GPU takes to accomplish some task. Yeah, it's a video of NVIDIA comparing GPU and CPU. All right, I introduced to you Leonardo, and he's going to paint a picture for you guys in the way that a CPU might do it, as a series of discrete actions performed sequentially, one after the other. In three, two, one. Uh, let me speed it up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Leonardo. 10.0. When we hit this trigger on this thing, 2,100 gallons of air goes through these accumulators, out these valves, into all 1,100 of these tubes, into these tubes in which the bottom of is a paintball. Each of those paintballs will fly across seven feet of space and in 80 milliseconds reach its target. Hopefully, when it's all said and done, it's going to paint the Mona Lisa. GPU. <laughs> Painting demonstration yep. in 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 6, six 5, five four, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, 1. <laughs> 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 
Ladies and gentlemen, science class is now over. Thank you. Thank you. So, the team at NVIDIA developed an interface. It's like a C or C++ extension that can help programmers to take advantage of the power of GPU. That extension is called Grida. It may be weird for Python nerds, but it's appealing for people who use C or C++ more often. Data scientists take advantage of this power to build CUDA compliant version of modern libraries like PyTorch or TensorFlow. So if you want to have a faster way to train a model, better do it on this GPU instead of doing it on the CPU. It makes the computation extremely fast. And that gives the power to the GPU compared to the CPU for operation on metrics where things could be separately computed and give you, the data scientist, the power to compute really impressive model faster. If you want to see how a CUDA program looks like, I will put the link in the description of the article link to this video. You can see have more information about CPU and GPU and have a look of what a CUDA program may look like. It is the end of the video. Thanks you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have further questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you and see you in the next video. Peace.